It would have been a big change for the public employees of Virginia Beach. City Council members narrowly voted down the collective bargaining initiative. It's on your side, Nick Broadway breaks down why city leaders said no last night. Public workers packed City Hall after picketing outside, urging city leaders to vote in favor of collective bargaining. By a vote of five to five with one abstention, this item has failed. A five to five vote and council member Dr. Amelia Ross Hammond abstaining. In her letter filed with the city, she called collective bargaining a complex issue, saying she did not have enough time to think about if this would work for the city. Without her tie-breaking vote and no majority, the initiative did not pass. It came to the council from the firefighter and EMS union, which are, like many other departments, dealing with staffing issues. Collective bargaining would allow unions to collectively negotiate terms in their contracts, like pay and work conditions. One of the council members in favor wished she had this kind of representation at past jobs, while those dissenting worry about how it could impact the city's budget. Mayor Bobby Dyer spoke to the public employees who went to the meeting, explaining his no vote. But once again, I do not believe this council, if, when people vote against this, it is not against you. I just appreciate it. It is a timing issue, and but once again, we have to be responsible, not only to you, but you know, to the other folks. But let me just say, we are grateful for what you do. Let's open the vote. City leaders are telling 10 on your side they did not vote on a separate motion that would have declined collective bargaining. It would have instead created employee committees. The president of the firefighter and EMS union says they're still moving forward to try to get collective bargaining at the table. In Virginia Beach, Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.